Hi YouTube, um, I just wanted to uh, to share this. Um, so we are on the Octopus Agile tariff, which anyone who knows the Octopus Agile tariff knows that it's, um, it, you get um, half hourly prices changed throughout the day and that basically between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. is when the most expensive prices are on um, are, are present. So you need to try and turn um, as many things off as you can. Um, so what this is, is this a, this is a video about how to uh, schedule your Nebi um, ground source heat pump to limit the amount um, of, of electric that it uses between that period. So what you do is you, um, so you're, you're normally um, here and this is a Nebi 12, um, 1245 um, heat pump. And so you open, open the cover and you use your toggle to toggle around to indoor climate and you click OK. Um, this is what my plumber has just told me, so I thought I would record it for posterity for myself, but also for other people. So what you do is you go into scheduling. Um, so this is to do with the temperature of your house. And what I've done here, so previously it looked like this, schedule two. And um, so it's all blank. So I go, so you go into, um, so I went into um, schedule one, I clicked activate. And then you simply, I clicked all, and then you simply put the time in that you um, that you want. So, so I'm actually putting it from half three to half seven, um, for the simple fact that just in case those tariffs change slightly um, by half an hour, um, I've got and you know I it, I've got half an hour spare in the system. So half three to half seven, and then what this does is this alters. Oh, sorry. Um, this num half three to half seven what this number does is this oh come on half three to half seven what this number does is it changes where it is on the heat curve so normally your heat curve is is set um by the installer and so zero is where it's set um is is your normal um heat curve so ours is actually um heat curves um it's on seven and so then you can schedule it to be above or and um, to maximize octopus agile below um the heat curve so what we're this is the first time i'm doing it so i'm going to start at minus 10 and then should we get cold at any point um during that four to seven o'clock period i will tweak this and i'll play with it to find out what the minus number should be below our heating curve so we're not getting cold but the heat pump isn't unnecessarily coming on between half three and half seven. So yes, yeah, so so you can set this to minus five below your heat curve, for example. So so that's that's for the temperature of your your indoor climate. So that's activated. So then you simply back out of that. And um, because I think if yeah the heat curve I was I was referring to, if we go into advanced, you can see here at the top heating curve. So this is our heating curve at the moment. It's set to uh, it's set to heating curve seven, um, but likewise you can you can raise and lower that, and the the installers quite often you know set that to something like what what is right for you, and what effectively adding a minus ten does is that brings that heating curve down to there. So during the schedule, um, during that scheduled period, um, the the heating curve goes down to that minus ten curve rather than its normal zero so so that's what that's changing um, for the inside temperature so then the next thing is hot water so we have our hot water set as economy um, i don't know about you guys but you know these heat pumps are fantastic and we find absolutely fine temperature with comfort mode economy so again we can go into into scheduling Sorry, that's into the, the comfort mode. So into scheduling. And again, we've activated schedule one and we've said between half three and half seven. The only, so between half three, half seven, you've got economy, normal, luxury or off. So what we've done is we're just going to have a play with it and see if, if we can live with it just being off at that time. That time of day... No one in our household is really is really showering, so um, so it should be it should be fine. But even if they did, 
there's still hot water in the tank to use it just might not um it might not get hot again it might not be replaced as quickly um you know it's not going to be replaced until after that half past seven scheduling so so that's that's how to how to schedule your uh, your ground source heat pump your nebi ground source heat pump and um yeah and if you're interested in octopus agile i'll put some links in the description below um, and I'll also put my uh, referral code in there so that then if anyone wants to use it um, between the two of us, we share a uh, £100 bonus um, for the referral. So you get £50 and I get £50. Everyone wins. But um, but yeah, so this is how I'm um, changing my Nevi F1245 heat pump to schedule around the Octopus Agile tariff. So many thanks for watching and uh, yeah, all the best. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.